let us bring in Jimmy Fallon, host of Fox Across America on Fox News Radio and Fox Nation. Jimmy, Carly and I were talking about this yesterday. You know that big Epcot ball? It's not like you can wheel it to a woke state. It's in Florida. You're in Florida forever, Disney. Don't they have to really dial back the wokeness now? I mean, I would think so, because to your point, Disney World is not those carnivals my mom took me to growing up where the Ferris wheel turned into a van <laughs> if a kid fell off it and they just drove to the next town. <laughs> you know, you, you, you can always tell where you ranked in the family based on what rides your mom let you go on. Like every ride I went on left town in a second if something went wrong. But yeah, Disney's doing one thing wrong, okay? Nobody's going to Disney for this, you know, to be, you know, soaked into all of these identity politics and all this garbage. Like, if Disney was to be true to their word and they wanted to be more inclusive, oh, I don't know, maybe don't charge 200 bucks to get in. Because last I checked, the prices are keeping more people out of the park than the pronouns. But they keep fighting this dumb battle that nobody asked them to fight. You know, again, I'm not going to Disney World to go on a ride called Peter Pan Sexual. That's not what I'm there for. I just want to do Disney and not get so ripped off. I'm still paying interest on a hot pretzel I bought in 2012, Todd Pyro. This ain't cool. I think there are a lot of parents out there who agree with you. Jimmy, my question, though, is why do companies just feel like they, they have to be political? Nike, uh, Delta, Coca-Cola, now Disney. Wouldn't it just be so much easier for them to just say, okay, we're making sneakers, we're making soda, we're not going to dive into politics? Yes. No, that would be the right thing to do. But what happened is these corporations kind of got hijacked by like a tyranny of the woke minority in that they have placated grievances on other issues over the course of the last two years and kind of sent a message now that every time the staff is upset and calling the boss a racist or a transphobe, he's got to change the entire company outlook to accommodate these seven people that are screaming in the virtual break room because they're not even coming to work. So to your point, yes, Disney shareholders don't want this right now. Disney shareholders know that the company's doing business in literally 12 countries that criminalize gay activity, but they want to sit here and slander Florida. It's kind of absurd. And again and again and again as a parent, if Disney cared about our kids, they would care about our parents and stop ripping us off, Carly. It's so expensive. I got to turn tricks behind Space Mountain to pay for a ticket to Animal Kingdom if I want to leave the park. I saw it. It was awkward. It was an awkward time for all of You guys went to Disney yeah. together? Uh, by the way, uh, that Peter, happened? Peter Pan Sexual uh, really got a laugh here in the studio. I'm not joking. Everybody was kind of cracking up to that one. I'm trying. Meantime, Bernie Sanders dropping a big hint on if he'll run for president in 2024. Here's a memo from his 2020 campaign manager. It reads, in the event of an open 2024 Democratic presidential primary, Senator Sanders has not ruled out another run for president. So we advise you that any answer about any questions about that with 2024 in mind. Jimmy, who out there is looking at the damage that the far-left policies have caused us over the past two years and is saying, ah, you know what we need? More far-left stuff. <laughs> Call up Bernie. This is bananas. This is like, do you remember the old Saturday Night Live sketch, Toons is the Driving Cat? Yes. Where they would let the cat drive and it would always go off the cliff. OK, this would be the equivalent of like making Tunsis your Uber driver after going off the cliff. We don't need more left wing policies. Never mind that Bernie Sanders is in his late hundreds, Todd. This is crazy that they keep peddling these old men. The Democrats told us, you know, hey, we're the party of the youth. We need new blood. They actually meant new blood as in transfusions. <laughs> this is insane. Jimmy, the other thing we want to talk to you about is the mask mandates. And Democrats in blue cities are still making people wear masks on public transit, despite the CDC's mask order being struck down. So masks are still being required in New York City. I had to wear one when I was in an Uber this morning coming into work. San Francisco and then Milwaukee and Boston have partial transit mask mandates. So imagine being a resident of those huh? cities. And <laughs> do you wear one? Do you not? Um, Something is starting to tell me that this is less about science and more about power. What do you think about that? Yeah. Two things. I think you're right on with your assessment of power, but don't discount that in some of these cities like New York, there are also like Jets fans who just want to cover their face in public. 
They don't want to be seen walking around town. But to your point, this has nothing to do with COVID. This is absurd, man. Okay, the CDC's own website says cloth masks offer little to no protection against the Omicron variant. So we shouldn't actually be wearing them at this point. Uh, but this continues to go on because, you know, for a lot of politicians, COVID has become a Trojan horse in which they use COVID to obtain other forms of power and take away our liberties. And of course, a lot of bureaucrats in D.C. like Dr. Fauci know that if COVID goes away, they go yep. away. Mm -hmm. So they're going to try to keep up this little balloon because it's giving them relevance. And like you said, it's giving them power. And it drove me so crazy here in New York that Eric Adams is lecturing about enforcing a mask mandate. Yo, the subway cameras don't work. We just had a mass shooting. We don't need to allocate police resources to masks, especially not when COVID yeah, isn't yeah, a yeah. top 25 germ on the subway. You're yelling at me about wearing <laughs> a mask. Half yeah. the guys aren't wearing pants. Can we address that, <laughs> Mayor Adams? Accurate on all accounts. Jimmy, you got to leave it there. Thanks for jo joining us this morning. We appreciate it.